the ice! It's melting! Your Majesty, is it really you? Hmm? Oh yes, I remember now. The witch trapped me in that book and pretended to be me, didn't she? Thank goodness. For a moment there, I was worried the ordeal might have muddled your memory. Fear not, Your Majesty, the witch is sealed away once more. <laughs> Your Majesty, we've been searching for you everywhere. Please, you must come back to the castle. The Chancellor is beside himself with worry. Hmm. Thank you so much for saving my kingdom. I must see to it that you are justly rewarded. You need the blue I heard you talking about it from inside the book. Come and see me at the castle. I will gladly give it to you. As for the grimoire, Snorri, why not give it to me? Hold on a minute, Your Majesty. I don't think you understand just how dangerous that book is. You should... to the collection. Come on, let's go to the castle and get our reward. Here, yeah. I'll let you keep hold of this. Something. I thought so, but well.
Excellent. You came. Let me present to you the blue orb of Sniffelheim. If you will just come a little closer. She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her lies. Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because Snorri paused in the middle of it. You have to believe me. She's lying. The wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Everybody, calm down. I have been Her Majesty's tutor for ten years. If anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real Queen Frisabel. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember her father's teachings well. <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? Hmm, the orb, you say? Very well, very well. Now then, what is your answer? The true treasure of Sniffelheim is its people. Though the bleakest blizzards assail them, ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts. <laughs> Precisely! The very words the royal family have passed down through the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book! No! She's a liar, you fools! You imbeciles! Can't you see? Curse you! Oh, yes. <laughs> Fine. You caught me out again. I surrender. I surrender. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. My magic is spent. My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. Men, take her to the dungeon. <clears throat> Wait! Your Majesty, what are you doing? Isabel, please, step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to... Uh. Everyone, listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze the city. But we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. Her 
horse is not a bad heart. And the time I spent in the book, it gave me the chance to think, to ready myself to truly rule at last. Please, I believe her when she says her powers are spent. She is not a threat to us any longer. We must let her live. She seems convinced, Snorri. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, Your Majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Crystalinda, there's something I still don't understand. Why did you free Sniffleheim in the first place? Oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released me from the grimoire. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Then, three months ago, he appeared. He took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. I will release you from your prison, but you must do something for me in return. For a beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forevermore. What is your desire, my pretty? You must freeze Sniffleheim. When you do, a great hero will be sent to save the city. One who wears the same pendant as I. His name is Hendrik. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. The same pendant as Sir Henry, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. again for all you have done for me and my kingdom. The orb is yours to do with as you see fit. But your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Of course. As my father always said, the true treasure of this kingdom is its people. And if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. Well, if you insist, best of luck with all your royal duties. And try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? <laughs> oh, don't worry about that, little girl. Frisabel will be just fine. I plan to take very good care of her.
doing loitering by the docks, Eric? None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Hmm? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the might. I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab. I thought you said it was a spell book. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. <sighs> But wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. The articles, I tell ye!